better for myself, you know, like putting, just doing better for myself and just putting myself in a position where I can do a lot better and feel good about myself. Yes, I feel good about myself, but, but I have a lot of, like I've had a lot of medical issues and stuff due to my weight and, and like, I don't know if they're, to me, I don't know, really understand if they're getting better or worse. Like, I, there's points where I really don't care. I just want to do what I want to do, you know. Um, there's been a lot of things going on in my family. And, um, so, I have a grandma in Oregon. Her name is my name. Her name is Linnea. And, and she's, she's the most amazing person you would ever be you know you wouldn't know like you wouldn't think that she's gone that she's going through what she's going through you know my grandma my grandma Linnea has um has Alzheimer's and she is the most faithful person in Christ you will ever meet. When she, when I, when she, before her diagnosis, she was very strict. She was a very strict person. She didn't really understand how to work with kids that much. Um, she was very, she didn't understand how to work with my autism and my Asperger's as I was starting to get diagnosed with it. It, it was really hard. It was really hard with her. But here's the thing about her. She's always had a strong faith. Her faith in Christ has always been so amazing. And it's just like, it's something... When I, when I used to talk, I still talk to her. I, call, I try to call at least once a month to her and my grandpa. But even before her diagnosis, she, even though she was strict... And had, and had, like, lack of communication with kids, she still had this friendly side to her, this caring side to her, and she still has always been an amazing person in Christ and in her faith. She's done so much in her lifetime. Like, she told me about how she went to school with, with, um, Disney, Walt Disney's daughter, and how... She was on this program. She was on this radio station program. She's taught me so much. My great-grandma was... My great-grandma was an immigrant from another country. And my grandma told me about how my great-grandma came over when she was seven. And she was came from this other country. Her mom came to the U.S. before. But because of the war, about seven years war, and because of a war that lasted seven years, um, when her mom went back to get her family, my great-grandma's mom went back to get her family, she was caught up in a war and she had my great-grandma there in, in that country. And they came back, they were coming over with 20 other, like 20, a family of 20, okay? And one of the relatives passed away. Well, on that boat, they adopted a child as they were coming to the U.S. And since then, it has been my grandma, my dad, my and my aunt, and now me and my three sisters. You know, I'm a third generation. Like, I'm the third generation to live, like, be a full-pledged American in the U.S., and I don't take that for granted. You know, I I'm in a position where where I look to a lot of people out here I look peril powerless. But as you guys know, because of YouTube and stuff, you guys have given me a lot of power to say what I need to say and put my voice out here. And it's quite amazing. And it's just like I don't know exactly what I'm saying to you guys right now. I'm just like rambling and I'm just putting my voice out here because I don't know who else to really talk to about it, you know. Um, 
my boyfriend's going through a lot with his family right now. They had a death in their family. And I don't feel like putting my thoughts and stuff to him. My grandma, who I'm living with, is going through a lot. And I don't feel like talking to her about my stuff. My <laughs> my best friend, Nui, she's having a, she has her baby. And she's up in the middle of the night trying to take care of him. So I don't want her... Of course, I know she's probably going to end up watching this later. But I don't want her worried about me, you know. I I am in counseling for and trying to figure out things out. I'm not just about my st this stuff, but what's going to happen after I don't have a place anywhere to c call home out here like what will happen next you know um i'm hoping to be honest i've been hoping that this youtube me youtubing will become my career and become a job but it doesn't look like it will i've been at this for almost two years now and as you can see it hasn't really turned into anything but i guess i could just keep on i want to keep on making videos and I'm using my phone right now. Like, I've been using my phone since the beginning. Well, this, the beginning was the tablet, which is a, a little bit better. But, like, I've been doing this for a long time. And it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. I don't, like, yeah, I'm reaching you guys. I'm reaching people that I wouldn't usually reach otherwise. And you guys are, you sparkles are, like, amazing family to me. You are part of my family. I want to hear your stories. I want to read the comments and hear what you have to say. I want to hear what your feelings are, you know. And, yeah. Another thing is, um, I've been taking down a lot of, there's a lot of newspaper in my room. Um, on the walls and stuff. And I've been taking them down because I was asked to. But I was also, I'm also packing up Tiny Town. If you guys remember when I first moved out to Indiana, I started a little town and I cr was creating a little town. Well, I, since I haven't been using it in a while, I've decided to pack it up. And so Tiny Town is officially getting packed up. But our Dream Factory is still the Dream Factory. Uh, even though I've been doing a lot of filming out here on the porch. This is a good filming spot. Trust me. I love this filming spot. This spot and downstairs in front of the snack bar I think are really good filming spots. And I love filming here. The only issue is it makes the camera, like the angle of the camera and stuff makes it smaller. Like a smaller space. And that freaking sucks. Trust me. It sucks. I rather have that have my camera sideways, my phone camera sideways so I have more room so you can see more things but it just like right here I can't do that because then you guys see the rebar like you can see that you know it doesn't look good <laughs> but yeah I was just like I'm excited about the new things happening because my 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 best guy friend from Wisconsin is coming to visit this next month and um with his girlfriend and I can't wait to meet, meet her and then my sister is supposed to be coming for Grable Days which is this big fair thing that we have here in Grable and she's supposed to come with her girlfriend and I get to see them on my birthday my birthday is September 8th and I can't wait to see them and I've been putting out hints of presents I want on, you, on Facebook but there's um, one thing I just really want for my birthday and that's like yeah I want I want new uh, manga books I want uh, the whole series of Yatsu Soba and yeah I want a wireless headphones there's a lot of things I want material wise but the one thing I want I want for my birthday is I want to know I I want to know I want to know what I'm doing for you guys, you know, am, I don't know, am, is what I'm saying and doing helping you guys in any way, you know, is what I'm doing, is what I have been doing reaching you guys.
because there's times where I feel like I'm reaching nobody, that nothing is coming through, and you can't hear my voice, even though I'm speaking to this camera, and you, you clearly see me talking, hear me talking, but I feel like nothing's coming through. All I want for my birthday is to know that you guys hear me, and what you guys learned from me, and what and your story I want to hear your story I want to be able to read your stories and read them to everybody else on this if you will allow me of course read your stories I I'm really to be honest I want your letters I want you guys to be using my PO box will be set it down into the description I want to read your letters and see on paper that you guys are not only changing the world, but you guys somehow I've done an impact, or you you guys impact somebody else. I want to know about it. I want to know about the impacts you guys have your lives. I want to know things. I want to know about you guys. That would be the greatest birthday present ever. I know this is a month in advance. I know that it probably won't happen. That you guys probably like you probably don't have the ability to. But it would be so amazing to me if, if you could, you know? If you have the ability to, I would like to see that. I want to know. I want to know your story. I want to know who, about you, you know? I want to know that you're doing okay and that your life is amazing. And I want to know stories about you so I can post on my wall of support and so I can post envelopes on my wall so I can so I can write back to you like I've been wanting to write so many people but I haven't been able to I've written to famous other I write written to famous people all the time from YouTube I just want to know about your story and what you're about and how you doing you know does that make any sense does that make any sense at all um Thanks for letting me rant, and if you made it this far, thank you. I'm sorry that this is not the most positive video to be watching. This probably, probably nobody's going to end up watching this, but that's okay. I just had to put my voice out there, and I get to look back on this and see how sad I was back in the day. You know, one day I'll be able to look back at this and go, ha, she is a pathetic person, but who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen in the future? I hope I live a. Ha I hope I continue living a happy life. You know. Well, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And if not, that's okay. You don't have to like every video I do, but I still hope you guys have a good evening. That your good evening. That your guys' night is just sparkling, fantastic. Guys, I hope you guys have, you guys wake up rejuvenated and refreshed and ready for the rest of the day. Guys, I hope that you guys have a good morning as well and a great rest of your guys' day. I can love you guys so, 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 so much as always and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!